Pixel Extended Edition is here with this new update based on Android 13 of course with this latest security patch and I have some new changes which I found after installing this thing on my device. Let's get straight into these things or features or things which we have in this one. One thing let me tell you because a lot of customers are there with December or November security patch and yes this is the one with November security patch it's not there with the December security patch and maybe with the two or three days or four days we will see January security patch so maybe a lot of customers are skipping December security patch and one of the famous customers called pixel experience is also skipping December security patch and this new update we have uh, this new looking launcher which is having this new search bar widget you can see the at a glance widget it is also customized this is not the default one which you have in pixel devices or pixel launcher by the way it's not having any custom launcher like project elixir it's not having launcher 3 it is still having the pixel launcher pre-installed so if we move on to the home settings you're able to notice if i move on to these options and about you will see pixel launcher is pre-installed by the way it's not the stock pixel launcher if i move on to the wallpapers and style check out the app grid you'll be able to notice we have a many app grids unlocked so if we have more app grids customized at a glance widget and something like that you can see we have these options available moving on to some other things which are available here which are included in this version is first of all the quick settings pan which i found has some differences if you are able to notice we have a separate wi-fi and mobile data tiles that's good secondly it is having the dark quick settings panel background it's not the light one so yes if you want to use these kind of things if you are aware of these kind of things you can use this thing but if you don't like this you can simply ignore using this one OTA update option is also included in this version so if you are one of the users who love to use customs also update those customs as I am not one of them I don't update customs much but if you update your device through OTA while using a custom room then yes finally the OTA updater is included although I'm not sure if it is actually working perfectly fine or not but it's there moving on to one more thing game space is also there the game space is included it's not the stock one which you have in pixel devices it is a different one like you have in custom rooms but it's not purely like that i mean in rise droid cr droid or corvus etc we are having uh, this kind of game space but with extra features like even in evolution xos extra features are there but one thing if you're able to notice that this game space also allows you to add this in custom games by the way it's available in some other devices also but one thing i will talk about let me show you by moving into this for example i've configured this in google home so if i open this google home application and check out this gaming dashboard how is the ui the ui is like this you don't have any ram information you don't have any time and some extra information like that which is available in some of the custom rooms gaming space for example in evolution xos project elixir maybe dice droid it's not like that so keep this thing in your mind while using this thing other than else it also includes these features customizations so this is a pixel room with features with customizations and these features are quite good i mean good enough to use on advice for example system icons which you want on your status bar or which you don't want in your status bar you can simply enable or disable these we also have some colored icons volti extra volti icons are there which includes this hd volti asus hd caf miui 11 oxygen os kind of icon options and same with that some extra options with wo wi-fi icon too so if you're always using a wo wi-fi like in my case i always use that although no sim card present right now on my device yet but i mostly use wo wi-fi if i use this device same thing applies to lock screen we have customizations including in lock screen 2 which includes pearls etc gestures like system has the per app volume control which is a very useful thing and if i move on to the gestures option swipe to screenshot is one of the useful features out there it's present in this one too advanced restart you should enable it's there too and same like that if i move on to the other options we have some of the options there to do control playback and etc etc so these are things which are included in this pixel extended edition if you want to use another pixel based one of another pixel based custom room you can use this thing link is available in the description and this is all thanks for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye